Hello, and welcome back to the Earthbound Ancient Cave Randomizer. I've got a couple chickens burning a hole in my pocket. Also a chick, which you can hear chirping. You can occasionally hear the chicken. That that was it. That sort of uh, low pitch and, and high pitched uh, beep, which I, I guess is supposed to be like a caw sound. So let's go uh, sell these sell these chickens to the rabbit. Yeah. So I bought the egg for twelve. I have three chickens now. Okay, so it's not exactly 10 times the amount, but pretty close. Okay, so I have a little bit of money. First thing I want to do is see what happens if I try to buy an egg with a full inventory because I've never actually tried that before and uh, I'm wondering what it does. If it'll give it to Monty or if it'll just say I, say I can't buy one. Alright, so that's a full inventory. Okay, yeah, so it, it just gives it to the next person in your party. Yeah, nor normally when you buy stuff, it asks you who you want to give it to. Uh, so I, I didn't know that that's, that's how this vendor in particular works. All right, I, I'm done buying eggs for now. Right, that's, uh, that's just a little, little outcropping in Saturn Valley. So let's let's finish exploring Tucson and give my eggs time to hatch and then hopefully I can buy some stuff. I might buy Nest the bat. Hi, puppy. Because again, oh, bite-sized doggy. That's cute. Yeah, I've never been been keen on the Casey bat just because of how how uh, ineffective it is at hitting things. I don't even really use it in Earthbound, um, which, I mean, it's a super late game item and it does more damage than any other bat. But even this early in the game, I don't, that, that's what, three misses in a row? I don't like it. I like a bat that I can re rely on. I like a dependable weapon. <laughs> right, this is how I got to Tucson in, in the first place. Yeah, I'm going to forget which exits lead where and get turned around and have to figure out where I am and where I'm going. That's just sort of the, the nature of the randomizer. There is a spoiler map which uh, shows which exits lead to which locations. So if I get hopelessly lost, I do have that to rely on. Uh, I'm hoping not to have to because with enough patience and paying attention uh, I can typically figure out where to go. So that's like four, four misses in a row or five. Uh, I've lost count. Of course it doesn't help that I'm trying to hit crows which are dodgy by nature, which was my favorite uh, 90s hip-hop group. I wonder if the stag beetles are worth money. 
Oh, I didn't even consider that. I sort of assumed they aren't, because I just think of it as a worthless item. But some some worthless items... So, some items that are worthless to use are worth it to sell. Four dollars. Okay, so my assumption was correct. There's also this this vendor who sells condiments, and I think he still sells condiments in the randomizer. Yeah. So Earthbound has this this unnecessarily uh, intricate system of consumable healing items, where if it, like say I have a hamburger in my inventory and a ketchup packet. If I use the hamburger, the ketchup packet will automatically apply and heal more than the hamburger by itself. But if I have a hamburger and like a carton of cream, then the cream, well, like when I eat the hamburger, the cream will automatically apply and that will heal less hit points because hamburgers, a hamburger doesn't go with a carton of cream. Which is, like, it's, it's cute. And I really like this guy's dialogue. Would you like some seasonings to add to your food at mealtime? They're really quite miraculous. Whenever you eat something, the seasonings will sprinkle automatically. They come in these cute little packets and jars. What kind do you like? Like, like it's so adorable. I, I hate the fact that it, it's a totally unnecessary, cumbersome system that I will never ever use. Oh, I, I, I just saw Monty Mole's sister up there. Alright, two crows. Can I hit a crow with a bat? I can't hit a crow with anything. Never mind the Casey bat. Nice crit. There we go. 276 damage. Which is a heck of a lot of damage. But how long did it take me to get there? Like, I don't even know if the bat would be worth equipping against a boss, because the other three characters will probably kill the boss before Ness can get a hit in. I can sell the Casey bat for a lot of money, and I think I will. I'm going to sell the bat and all of these chickens and buy a couple hamburgers and see where the shortcut leads. Of course, I don't actually know where the shortcut leads, um, but it, it will be there for later if I want it. Alright, is there anywhere in Tucson that I haven't gone yet? There must be. Alright, that's where I came in. Alright, I have a chicken. I'm counting my chickens before they hatch, which you're not supposed to do, but uh, in Earthbound, all eggs hatch and, and become chickens. Alright, let's use fire on these punks in the back row. Uh, shoot the mighty hoop punk with my yo-yo, and so I haven't shown off thunder yet. Um, it uses... Uh, a random targeting system. The more enemies you're fighting, the more likely you are to hit one, and higher levels of thunder uh, give you more lightning bolts. So if I use Scythe Thunder B here, I'm pretty likely to hit at least something. Ow! My Mario! Take that. So yeah, B or beta gives you two lightning bolts. Ow. Well, 
There's a Casey bat hat. See, stuff like that happens, and it makes me think. Bean croquette. That's a that's a healing item. I might be able to sell that for a few pennies. Oh, shield. That's a, that's a good one to have. God, a lot of enemies. Hi. Thanks. I need I needed one of those. Oh. So so here I could uh instead of instead of buying the eggs, I can come back here over and over and get eggs for free, which will increase my profit margin by by $12 an egg. But uh somehow I don't think it's worth the hassle. So here, here's another one of those shortcut zones. What strange, strange chattering for a monkey? You know, you just might be in luck. I think I have a fresh egg or two. <gasps> it turned that box into a beautiful lady. My God. Ah. So remember when I said uh, a ruler is potentially a key item? Uh, this is where that comes into place. So th this camera can now measure its own tail. So I now have shortcuts to two other floors of the dungeon. <gasps> and, and the music continues playing even though I, I ran away in, in utter terror. I don't know what, what most of the custom music tracks are, but they're pretty cool. Most of them. Alright, and this takes me to Stonehenge. So this is... I, I do recognize this one. This is What is Love. Which means I'll probably be getting a content ID match for the melody, because... That is the uh, capitalist hellscape that we now live in. My chickens are digging it though. Alright, so we will see those floors later or much later in the game. Monty, have you been kidnapped? I really wish you would tell me these things. I think this room has treasure in it. Oh, I need to, to give question mark a heal at some point. Ow! At some point soon. Nice smash. I wonder if that that terminology from Earthbound is why Super Smash Brothers is called Super Smash Brothers. Because Ness has been a character from from the very beginning, right? I think I'm not super up on on my Super Smash Brothers lore, but this is the oldest Nintendo reference to, to Smash that I can think of. Bye, Beetle. Treasure. It's a trash can. With a baseball cap inside. Uh, I think Mario can wear a baseball cap too, so I'm assuming Mario's... Uh, Defense is so less than the Nessa's. Ten, eight, four, yeah. Okay, well, we are all wearing stylish matching baseball caps, except for question mark. 
the independent thinker. I'm not super interested in, in fighting more crows. Um, actually, crows might be one of the enemies that that never run runs away from you. There are a few of those. Aw, you don't have to apologize. You can info dump at me. Even though you you are a cop. But in, in this specific instance, it's not your fault that you're a cop. It's it's the randomizer. So I haven't seen this sprite before. Also I don't remember oh, this is one of the rooms in the boarding school that Jep goes to, I think. Oh yeah, so so that's uh, Jeff's friend Maxwell, I think, is the name. Uh, I still haven't found a phone yet, so I haven't been able to save. Um, but some phones in the game, nor normally you call Ness's dad, but in some specific areas uh, where in Vanilla Earthbound you have control of Jeff instead of Ness, uh, you call Maxwell. Who is some sort of very angry looking horse? I don't know, the, the ears look a little big for a horse. I don't know, I'm, I'm sure all, all the, the Gen Z viewers are screaming at me in the comments. That's probably a very popular character from a very popular franchise. I forgot to heal, question mark. I'm going to do that now. Hopefully he doesn't die, but if he does, I can just walk over to the sanctuary. So the Ancient Cave mode in Lufia 2 was sort of like a roguelike built into the game. You can only play it after you've beaten Lufia 2 twice, which is why I've, I've never played it, because I, I haven't finished Lufia 2 once. Uh, but it's a big sprawling dungeon, and if you die, you get kicked out. And it's randomized every time the treasure's randomized, and your goal is to get to the get to the the last floor of the dungeon and fight sort of a super boss. So, so that concept is sort of what this is based on. Um, obviously, there's no permadeath; it, it doesn't have that roguelike aspect. Um, but like many roguelikes, it is still advantageous to explore as much of each floor as oh that's an ATM it looks like a bench but that's an ATM oh I only have two hundred and twenty dollars in there I guess that makes sense I've been fighting nothing but but low-level enemies but I want to I want to sell these chickens and sell the KC bat and, and buy as much as much equipment as I can. All right, my sister still has crows. So my, my next actual um, path will probably be uh, this way because there are, there are a bunch of uh, a bunch of exits open. So uh, after I sell stuff and buy stuff, I will head to the department store. But yeah, it's a good idea to explore thoroughly because because you get levels and you get equipment, both of which you need to survive the higher levels. Um, the first couple levels typically not a big deal. Sometimes you find an in find an enemy that is much too powerful for you, and you have to 
avoid it or, or run away. I thought there was like a, a path over here somewhere, but I think I, I, I think I, I believe I'm thinking of Freed. Oh, the punks are chasing after me. By the way, I enable the option that me that makes me always move at uh, the speed that you get by using a skip sandwich, which makes you move faster. You can hold down the Y button to move at the, at the normal speed. Like, this is how fast you typically move in Earthbound. And this speed, you, on, you only get when you use a skip sandwich. But even at skip sandwich speed, it's still not always feasible to outrun all of, all of the enemies. So it, it doesn't give you, like, a, like a huge advantage. Aw, bite-sized doggy. I feel bad about about this fight. I'm kind of surprised more of these lower level enemies aren't running away from me. Bread roll. Eh, no thanks. All right, I think I'm going to go back um, to the sanctuary for a quick heal. And, and to get wh whatever magic I've used back. I don't think I've used any, but better safe than sorry. My teddy bear's still alive, so, so you can tell that this is a, a pretty chill run overall. Oh, the slowdown. Hi, frog. I am. So all of my chickens have hatched except for one chick. If you if you use a chicken, uh, then it runs away. And if you use a chick, seeing chicks makes you happy. And that takes it out of uh, out of your in inventory. So, so I, I just set that chick free. All right, let's sell all this crap and see what I can buy. I mean, it's not crap. A chicken is a living creature, but I don't need it anymore. I'm sure that this vendor will give these chickens a good home. A humane place to live. These chickens will definitely not be eaten. These are ethically sourced chickens. dollars which is kind of a lot for a bean croquette in, in real life uh, but earthbound has a slightly higher level of inflation actually the Casey bat might only sell for a dollar like a lot of these very special late game weapons you can't sell at all because they're so special, um, but the randomizer lets you sell them uh, for for a dollar. I'm not sure if that's if that applies to the Casey bat or not. Yeah, I'm going. Well, if it's worth a lot, I'm going to sell the Casey bat. Nineteen dollars. Oh. Hmm. I would like to hang on to it just in case. Um, I could buy the big league bat, which is much less damage but much more reliable. 
Uh, that would still leave me... That wouldn't leave me enough to buy the fry pan or the toy air gun. So, fry pan is um, Monty's first weapon. It's just a very basic attack. Toy air gun is a slightly higher level uh, weapon for Mario. And then ribbon would give Monty some defense, which, which I would like to do. So... See, he called him. He he called her Mon because that's short for Monty. Nine to nineteen. That's a pretty good boost. Give Mario a gun. Okay, that's a very nice boost, and, and the gun has an a normal uh, hit chance. So Mario should be a pretty a pretty effective fighter now. And Monty will be a lot more survivable now. Yeah, you can have the baseball cap. So I would need 380 to get the big league bat. So I could do a little bit more, more uh, egg, egg capitalism, which uh, I think I'll do off stream. Uh, or off the recording because that won't be the most interesting thing to watch. So I'm going to cut it here. Uh, in the next episode, I will have a big league bat, and I will start exploring the uh, the, the campsite area, which should hopefully eventually lead me to the boss, uh, the boss of the first floor. I am now starting to realize that my goal of uh, one, one dungeon floor per episode was hopelessly optimistic. So uh, thanks for thanks for bearing with me, and I hope you all have a good day, and I hope you will join me tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs>